Hey guys, how you all doing today? Now for today's video, I want to talk about two of the most dangerous dinosaurs in the entire Jurassic Park franchise. The Spinosaurus of Jurassic Park 3 and the Scorpius Rex of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Both have become major parts of the franchise and each have been shown to be creatures that few would dare to face. But one thought that has crossed my mind in recent times is what would happen if they were to come across one another and while we didn't get to see this happen in the fourth season of Netflix's hit series Camp Cretaceous, and it seems that we'll never be able to see it happen, it's still interesting to discuss what could happen if these two faced each other. So buckle up everyone, because for today's video, I want to answer the question that's been burning in my mind for a long time. What would happen if the former ruler of Isla Sorna faced off with the first hybrid of Dr. Wu? And most importantly, who would fall? Now before I really get into this fight, I want to inform that this fight will be mainly a one-on-one -on -one fight. So while many of you will comment that the Scorpius Rex can clone itself due to its part neogenesis, I will also be giving my thoughts on how the battle could go down if there were multiple Scorpius Rex near the end of the video. But for now, back to the Jurassic fight. So in order for this battle to be done justice, before going down, we need to go and take a look at the strengths and weaknesses of both, and let's start off with the Spinosaurus to kick things off. And right off the bat, we can clearly put down that its biggest advantage would be its size, seeing as how at the time of this video's creation, only two dinosaurs that would come close to rivaling its size would be the Indominus Rex of Jurassic World and the Giganotosaurus of Jurassic World Dominion. And even then, the Spinosaurus was still the biggest and shown to have a strength nearly unmatched, as in both JP3 and Camp Cretaceous Season 4, the Spinosaurus has been shown to be a force to be reckoned with and th that is the first dinosaur to be shown to go toe-to-toe -to -toe fight with the major player of T-Rex and win. That being said, it's also important to discuss an issue with the Spinosaurus's strength because in both of its appearances in the franchise for Jurassic Park 3 and Season 4 of the Netflix show, the Spinosaurus's strength of pinpointing the limits has been rather difficult for this because the Spinosaurus is written in a way that when people want it to win, it should shown as unstoppable, but if they want it to not be the victor, it's basically like a small child throwing a tantrum in my mind, before giving up in seconds and just walking away. That said, it's clear that the Spinosaurus is willing to brawl with anything that gets in its way. The Scorpius Rex, however, is quite a different creature, as its strength is actually quite interesting, as it was shown strong enough to rip apart barriers for enclosures that were made to hold dinosaurs such as Carnotaurus and other big hitters as well. But unlike most dinosaurs, it seems that its technique is based on how it's acting, as Dr. Wu states that at one moment the Scorpius Rex can be quiet and docile, and then the next extremely aggressive and sinister. For this being the case, the Scorpius Rex actually has two kinds of combat in my opinion, and each are due to the behavior it displays when in combat. When being aggressive, it's shown to be more of a brawler, like most of the large dinosaurs like Indominus Rex and said Spinosaurus, as we see in its fight with Blue and the second Scorpius Rex near its final scenes. And the second being its quieter meaner, which makes it more of an ambush predator, which we see when it attacks a Ceratosaurus in its opening scene. Now in a battle with Spinosaurus, I don't think that being a brawler would be the best choice, as the Spinosaurus is like four times its body size, and I don't think this would bode well for the smaller hybrid. That being said, one advantage the Scorpius Rex has near over nearly any dinosaur is it is of course its venom and it's been ma made clear that indeed this is its most dangerous ability of the hybrid but even though this is the case it's actually unlikely that we would even see it use it in the first place as i mentioned the scorpius is shown to be a savage killing machine rather than a stealthy predator and who would not use its poisonous quills unless by accident as in the sh entire show of Camp Cretaceous Season 3 where we see the Scorpius Rex, the only time we see it during an attack actually use its quills on someone before they're dead is actually Sammy. But that was by accident as it didn't even realize that it had smacked her away with its tail. 
So other than that, we never see it. Now, next thing I want to talk about is animal intelligence. And this is where it gets very tricky because neither have great intelligence when it comes to the list of smartest dinosaurs. Joe Johnson, the director of Jurassic Park 3, has stated in the past that the Spinosaurus isn't even anywhere near as smart as the T-Rex, and the Scorpius Rex is shown only to rely on its brute strength rather than intelligence. So looking at this, it's clear to me that this battle is not going to be focused on someone's smarts and mainly on sheer savagery. Now deciding on who the winner could be actually could come down to location and we can all agree that if this were set to be in the water, the Spinosaurus would easily win. In fact, it would be more dangerous for the Scorpius Rex to fight in the water than any dinosaur. Despite it having both scorpion fish and maybe even, if the rumors are true, Spinosaurus DNA in its DNA code, the way its head and body are shaped would not be built for swimming in comparison to the more streamlined snout of a Spinosaurus. And if this were to be put into the water with the Spinosaurus, it would be game over before the game even started. But when it comes to land, I think we have to look at this in two ways, as the Spinosaurus would have a greater advantage in a more open environment such as the desert biome on Manticore Island, where there would be few places for E750 to be able to hide and outmaneuver its larger foe. That being said, in a more forested environment like the jungles of Isla Nublar or Redwood Forest, or even the swamp biome in, on Manticore Island, I would say that the Spinosaurus would probably have a larger difficulty to move around, as it'd be much tighter spaces, whereas the Scorpius Rex would most likely be able to attack from the trees, which is one of its interesting habits that it shows when attacking its prey. It seems to like the trees a lot more than the ground, unless it's deciding to brawl with a carnivore. So then again, this advantage is kind of a little iffy, depending on the how the Scorpius is feeling. And if it were in the trees above the Spino, it would be able to make a strike to the Spino's back on its top. And this would also bring me to the next thing I want to talk about, which is actually weaknesses. And for the Spinosaurus, the number one weakness we all could agree on in any fight would be the greatest weakness of the sail on its back. Now, paleontologists continue to discuss the real purpose of this growth, but it's clear that Whatever this purpose were, if the Scorpius were to manage to get on top of the Spinosaurus and tear apart that spine, it would not be a pretty sight to see. And, I mean, anything getting part of its back ripped open by something else is going to be painful, no matter if it's just an extension or even a main piece of the spine. No matter what, that is going to hurt the Spino a lot. Now when it comes to genuine weaknesses for the Scorpius Rex, this is where it gets really interesting, as it actually has a few weaknesses compared to the Spinosaurus, as with Scorpius Rex, many of its strengths are in fact also its weaknesses, such as its behavior as it changes. At one moment it can be sneaky, and the next it's just a savage killing machine with no thoughts. And against something that's way bigger than it, it's not going to last long. And just look at its venom, as it's really its greatest weapon, but due to the fact that it would rather try to wrestle with its opponent, rather than let the venom do its work, I would have to say the Scorpius' greatest weakness is it needs to get its hands dirty in a fight, and would use nothing but its brute strength in order to win the fight. Now, in order for me to really choose the winner, I actually want to bring something up I discussed in a previous video of mine, where I discussed whether or not Rexy the Tyrannosaurus of Isla Nublar was in fact hunting the Scorpius Rex on Isla Nublar during Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous. And due to the fact that we never see Rexy and the Scorpius Rex near each other, I theorized that the Scorpius Rexes were actually trying to avoid Rexy, and if this theory is any way true, this kind of answers what would happen if the Scorpius Rex were to meet the Spinosaurus. And it most likely would be that the Spinosaurus, while trying to go for the Scorpius Rex, the Scorpius would do everything in its power to avoid the confrontation. But this brings me to the end of the conversation, as we're not here to discuss what would happen if they were to meet each other, we're here to ha discuss what would happen in a fight. And this brings me to the end of the conversation. 
who would win? Well, for me, guys, while I do think both will put up a great fight, I would have to say that, in all honesty, more often than not, I would have to say that the Spinosaurus would be the winner. And I'm not saying that the Spinosaurus would win every time. I mean, let's just be real. As I've said with the Venom, it's its most dangerous thing for the Scorpius Rex to use. And if, even by accident, it gets a large enough dose into the Spinosaurus, even if the Spinosaurus kills, it's not going to be walking away. And even any damage to that spine, that's going to be very painful afterwards. So it wouldn't be a comp I wouldn't say it's going to be a complete victory, but when push comes to shove, I would say the Spinosaurus just has more to offer in a fight. And I think the Scorpius just is too overpowered, especially for the way the Spinosaurus is written. Like, as I said at the beginning, it honestly depends on how people write the Spinosaurus. At one moment, it can break through a barrier that's designed to keep the most powerful dinosaurs out of places they're not supposed to be, and the next, it's blocked by a locked door. So realistically, if the writers were to have this fight go down in, say, Camp Cretaceous Season 5, it really depends on how they want the Spinosaurus to go. If they want it to win, they're going to make it a beast. But realistically, if this fight goes anywhere near the water, anywhere near it, it'll be game over for the Scorpius Rex. Now, before I go, I do want to also discuss what would happen if the Scorpius Rex were to create another of its kind. Because while most people, as I mentioned at the beginning, would assume that this would be a great advantage, I don't actually think this is the case, guys, because the way Camp Cretaceous shows these creatures when there's multiple is even worse than something like the Indoraptor or even the Indominus Rex because I feel like the Scorpius Rex would have worse chances if there was another. I mean they literally died in season 3 because of the fact they couldn't stop fighting each other even as a building was collapsing over them and as people were trying to tranquilize them and even when a raptor was attacking them. And they didn't care about anything. Even as the building fell on top of them, the last shots of them alive showed them staring each other down with complete hatred. And while again something like a one Velociraptor, that's not going to be a big inconvenience unless they kill each other of course, against something like the Spinosaurus, it would be a quick end for the hybrids. So if I were to put this in a percentage wise for both versions, in a 1 on 1 and a 1v2 say, I would have this to say, in a 1v1 between Scorpius Rex and Spinosaurus, I'd have to say that 70% of the time the Spinosaurus would win, and 30% goes to the Scorpius Rex. And when there's multiple of E750, I honestly think that it, it drops to zero for the Scorpius Rex instantly. And while the show did try to say that the Scorpius Rex was more dangerous than the Indominus Rex, I only think that come that's in the case of people, similar to how people view the Indoraptor. So for me personally, the Spinosaurus would be the winner in most fights. But make no mistake, this fight can go any way in real life. And we may, we're never going to see this happen, unless Camp Cretaceous Season 5 makes a surprise reveal of Manticore having their own Scorpius Rex. We're never going to see this fight happen. It's, it's not going to happen. But anyway, guys, what do you think about my thoughts on this fight? Do you think I'm correct in assuming that the Spinosaurus would be the most likely to win frequently in combat? Or do you think that I'm wrong and that the Scorpius Rex would be more victorious? And whatever your reasons are, I'd love to hear them all in the comments down below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye bye